Hey guys, this is Andrew with rockclass101.com. Today we're going to be learning how to Travis pick. And Travis picking is a right hand technique that basically it's, it's a picking technique where your right hand stays the same and the chords change. So that's the easiest way to think of it. Um, probably the most classic tune that comes to mind first is um, Dust in the Wind by Kansas. That song, the guitar part, has um, Travis picking in it. So you, you hear the same pattern with the right hand, but the chords continually change. So it makes for a really cool foundation um, of chords in a song. And the example that we're going to be learning is um, Fleetwood Mac's Landslide, which is another great tune that uses um, Travis picking. And this lesson, guys, is available completely free with basic membership at rockclass101.com. Just sign up for the basic membership and you can download the tab to follow along with and learn this uh, note for note with me. And if you like this um, arrangement, I actually arranged um, Landslide for premium membership on Rock Class 101. And you can click right here to watch the entire arrangement. And if you like it, sign up for premium membership and you can get a step-by-step -step video lesson on how to play that arrangement, uh, complete tab, and email support. So let's go ahead and get started with learning how to Travis pick and playing this uh, riff for Landslide. Let's talk about what chords we're doing first for our left hand. And we only have three chords and two chord shapes. So the first one is going to be C. So I want you to take your ring finger, put on the eighth fret of string two, and then put your middle finger on the seventh fret of string one. So string four and three will be open, and that's our first shape. So that's our C chord. Our second chord, just move this shape down a half step, lift your middle finger up, and put your index finger on the fifth fret of string one. So our ring finger is on seven on string two now. There's our G chord. Now move this shape down a whole step. So now we're on frets five and three. And there's our third chord, which is A minor 7. And if we move it back up a whole step, we're back to the second chord of G. And that's our fourth chord in the progression. So we're literally just going C to G to A minor 7 to G. And that's it. So our right hand is going to be doing the bulk of the work, right? So here's our picking pattern. And if you ever watch Lindsey Buckingham, the guitar player in um, Fleetwood Mac play, you'll see that he's got kind of a, a real um, simplified way of picking. What he does is he uses his thumb for the bass strings on the guitar and uses his index finger and his middle finger for the melody strings or the melody or the higher notes, right? So if we copy what he's doing on the ukulele, um, that's how I'm going to teach you. So I want you to use your thumb for strings four and three, use your index finger for the second string and your middle finger for the first string. All right, so here's our first picking pattern. We're gonna pick string three, string two, string four, and then we're gonna hit string one and two together so you can pluck that, okay? So again, we have three, two, four, string one and two together. Okay, and then in the tab, this is written as 16th notes. So we can even simplify it in our thinking right now and think of it as eighth notes. So if I was to count it, e each note has an equal value in the length that it lasts. One and two and. Okay, so there's the first half of the pattern. The second half of the pattern is going to go string three, string two, string four, string two. Okay, so again, three, two, four, two, and that's the second half. So if we put one and two together, we have, all right, pretty simple, right? And if I count it, 
we can think of it as 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. So let's move down to the second shape, which was G chord. Now the only difference here is that you're going to leave off the last note. So we're going to end the pattern on the fourth string, and that's going to last an extra um, note length. So it's 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. Okay? So if we put the first two together, we've got... So go down another whole step to A minor 7, and it's the same shape we did for the G chord, and it's the same pattern as the first chord, C. So we add that extra note at the end. Okay? And when we go back up a whole step to G, we will leave off the last note. And that's it, guys. So if we play it together, one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's basically how it sounds, guys. So one thing to remember is keep it steady in time, work it up to speed. So go slow and then gradually increase your speed. And eventually you'll get it up to speed of the record, which is about... about that fast. So I hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. Remember, the tab for this is completely free at rockclass101.com. If you want to learn the entire arrangement for Landslide, you can sign up for premium membership. And remember, you get the complete tab, step-by-step -step video lesson, and email support. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Thanks.